lot to break down. I want to bring in News Nation law and justice contributor Jennifer Koffendoffer. Jennifer, I can't think of a better person, right, on a story like this. Uh, you know, when you see it involving multiple agencies, that has to make the investigation more complex, does it not? It makes it more complex, but yet each of those agencies provides manpower and resources. So while it's more difficult to sort of coordinate, it makes it for a much better investigation in terms of this fugitive. They're going to need all the resources that all these agencies have to find him. And, you know, us at home, we have to remember that they're not necessarily going to spill the beans, right? So the investigation's taking on behind, going on behind the scenes. There's been some criticism that there hasn't been enough details, let's say, of the carjacking from Oklahoma. But that's part of the process. We have to trust part of the process, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is an individual, unfortunately, that is a career criminal. He's been involved in every kind of crime there is. I was reading his rap sheet. It's home invasions. It's carjackings. It's aggravated assaults, it's burglary. So he is not going to be timid about surviving, and he knows how to conduct these uh, sorts of crimes. So I think he can last for quite a while. Obviously, it would seem that he's gone into the woods or some area by the camping equipment we've seen. And we've seen a lot of fugitives do this in the past, but they always come out and they always slip up. Well, that's what I was going to ask you, because he, he does have a, a violent career, uh, a criminal career, if you will. So that gives you pause, right? When people, there's, there's innocent people everywhere, and he clearly has camping gear. So moving forward, what does the investigation look like? Because this is someone who essentially could survive. Absolutely, and I think it's really important for everyone in this Merrill, Arkansas area to be on high alert. That means your cars should never be open. You should never keep your keys in your car. Believe it or not, people do that. You should have all your doors locked. You should make sure if you have an alarm system that that is always set every night and day because he is on the prowl and he knows how to access. He's good at what he does, obviously, because he keeps doing it and keeps getting away with it. And due to lax laws uh, that were changed, he's not serving that 22-year sentence. And when he was arrested again for carjacking, he got probation. So uh, obviously a lot of fallacy in the system. In your experience in, in someone like this, when they are out on the lam, when do they slip up? And how do authorities push them to make those little mistakes? Well, the more air coverage, the more dogs, the more, uh, you know, this huge conglomeration of law enforcement is seen by him, he's going to continue to get squeezed. And that's when people get desperate, right? They get hungry, they get tired, uh, they're uh, concerned that they're going to get captured, and that's when they make that critical error. All right, well, uh, let's hope we see a critical error soon. Jennifer Koffendoffer, uh, I knew you'd be great on this. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.